Hi, this is Jamel with Recherche Kennels in Statesville, North Carolina. I am so excited to introduce a miniature English Labradoodle girl we have for sale that we are calling Lexi. If you don't like that name, you can change it. She is Miss Purple of Candace and Apollo's litter. She was born uh, May 12th, 2024. So she's had over 400 hours of training at the time of this video. And this is the first time we've ever listed her for adoption. We love Lexi. She is a sweet, sensitive, and affectionate girl. As you can tell, she loves belly rubs. She's lifting her leg up because she just loves to snuggle and loves to cuddle. Her recherche score is 655. Six being that she is dependent, but she's not excessively dependent. She's not a dog that's needy or clingy. She's not a dog that's gonna have separation anxiety that's gonna scream if she's left alone. She prefers to be with people, but she's not super needy. Activity why she's perfectly balanced. When she's by herself and on the ground, she does like to play. She is a happy dog, but when she's with you, she's super calm and laid back and affectionate and sweet. So that's why we gave her a five out of 10. It's not that she's perfectly balanced all the time. She's just perfectly balanced in general. She's super calm in your lap, but then on the ground, she is active and does have energy. And then she's middle of the road with her confidence. She's not a dog that's afraid of everything, but she is naturally submissive. She wants to please people. She is soft, she's sensitive, she's very, she takes very little correction. Like many doodles, she does have issues with submissive urination right now, but she will outgrow that as she gets older and gets more confident. That is a natural way of saying, I trust you, I submit to you, that's kind of what that is. Now, size-wise, she is the smallest in her litter. Her mom is 45 pounds, so she's a regular Labradoodle. Her dad is a miniature poodle. He's only 15 pounds. So we're thinking she's only gonna get about 20 pounds. I put 20 to 35 because you never exactly know, but she is the smallest pup in her litter and uh, and she she may be almost full grown right now. It kind of depends on genetics and sometimes they, they're basically full size around six months. Sometimes it takes them until they're about 12 months, but she is beautiful. She's a light red coat. She's, she did get a haircut. We gave her a medium haircut. You can make them look very different by letting them grow out or by giving them a really short haircut. We kind of just gave her a medium cut, uh, but they do not shed very much. She's an F1B. That means she's 75% poodle. And so if you're allergic to dogs or if you hate dog hair, um, she's gonna shed very little to any. And most people that are allergic to dogs will not be allergic to an F1B. And what I'd like to do is to summarize our Puppy Training Institute. And we're gonna show off Lexi so you can see how sweet and smart she is. Then I'm gonna come back and let you know what you need to do to adopt her. Our Puppy Training Institute has four core areas. There's a couple areas that are very visible that we can easily show you on camera. Some of them are a little bit harder. The one area that's very visible to show off is outside training, and a big part of that is leash training. Puppies love the pull, they love the tug, they love the cut in front of you. So we train them to walk on our left side. We train them to do something that's called an auto sit. That's when we stop walking, they automatically sit without having to be told. What that does is that builds respect, that builds confidence. The second area that's very visible is obedience training. We teach all of our trainers to teach our puppies to sit, down, stay, come, place, and kennel. One thing that makes us unique is all of our trainers are certified dog trainers, and they train the puppies with three different ways. We use hand signals, words, and the lead. Some of the areas that are very visible is sit. We put our hand up, they sit down. We point to the ground, they, they lay down. We say stay with the stop sign, they will stay for seconds when they get older, for minutes. The place command is also a, a command that we use where they jump up on the chronicot. What that does is that helps transfer the most difficult parts of obedience training, stay and come. You definitely will wanna buy a Chronicot because it will help them. The other area that we work on is crate training. That's where they go into a crate on their own volition. We open up the crate, we say kennel, they walk in the crate and they stay in the crate until we release them. The next area that we actually spend more time on than all the areas combined is house training. House training is about two thirds of their total training. This is where we work on the most important area of potty training. Of course, we're training them not to use the restroom inside and the signal eventually to go outside. 
Puppies at 12 weeks of age can typically hold the restroom for about an hour during the day, whereas a puppy at six months can do around four hours. The same thing is with crate training. We train them to sleep at night in a crate, to eat in a crate. And a 12 week old puppy can typically sleep around four hours without having been let out. A six month old puppy can do six to 10 hours. So the older they are, the better they're gonna be house trained. Uh, we also know that while they're in house training, we train them not to jump up on us, not to chew things in the house, not to bite our hands. It's very extensive. The last area of training that's the most difficult to show but equally important is socialization training. That's a couple areas. First, we're working on them to be socialized around different people. We want the puppies to bond quickly with their new family. So they're trained with multiple people. We have over 50 full-time trainers and staff members that handle the puppies constantly so they're not used to only one person and in one environment. We also desensitize them as best as possible. We play a TV and we get them desensitized to vacuum cleaners, to hair dryers. We even take them on field trips so they're not getting car sick and they're used to being around different people in different places. It's very important and it's probably the most difficult thing to show on camera. That is our Puppy Training Institute. Now, if you're interested in this puppy, read through this entire page. If you scroll to the bottom, you'll see pictures that we just took. Right above the pictures are the prices for each training level. Now, some people do have a hard time finding the prices. So on this video, we're gonna show you where prices are found on a typical page. But the prices you see in this video may not be this exact puppy. You do need to look at their page. And then right below this video is a link that says, click here to fill out puppy application. Click on the link, fill it out. We will respond to you within 24 hours. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video of Lexi. Again, this is Miss Purple of Candace and Apollo's Litter. Thank you for the privilege of your time and God bless.